Hey guys, it's Julia. So if you wanna learn how to do a natural smoky eye that takes less than five minutes, just keep watching. Also, I would love it if you hit that subscribe button. It really supports my channel, so I appreciate it, and we'll see you in the next video. Okay guys, so I have done most of my makeup. I have left the eyes so I can show you how to do the easiest natural smoky eye that you will ever do. First step in doing a natural smoky eye is starting off with a eyeshadow primer. This is really going to be essential in keeping your eyeshadow on throughout the day or the night and so it doesn't smudge and it looks really smooth and seamless. Um, my absolute favorite eyeshadow primer is from MAC and it's um, this one right here. It's MAC Paint Pots Painterly is the color. I use it all over the lid and then I'm gonna take it a little bit up to the crease. And I'm actually just gonna use my fingers to blend it. This product is a little bit tacky, so it's really good for your eyeshadow to adhere to. So again, I am just patting it on my eye using my finger and just taking it up to the crease. All right, and you can actually even just wear this on its own if you didn't wanna put on any eyeshadow because it really makes your lid stand out. So if you have hooded eyes like me, it really kind of pronounces them, makes them look a little bit more um, awake. So I'm gonna be using the Naked Palette for this eyeshadow look. So I'm just gonna be using the color Toasted right here, and then the color Buck, which is a really nice matte medium shade. And then I'm also gonna be using the color Sin in the inner corner. I'm gonna use the E55 brush from Sigma. It's really flat, so it really helps to kind of pack in that color. And I'm gonna take the color Toasted all over the lid and then a little bit up towards my crease. And I'm just kind of patting it on. That way the color doesn't move or fall out, um, it really just helps it stick to that primer that we put on. And it doesn't have to be perfect right now because we're gonna blend it out. So now I'm gonna use that Buck color that I showed you earlier and a blending brush. This is the MAC 222, it's one of my favorites. So we're just gonna take that color through the socket and then we're just gonna blend it in a windshield wiper motion. And what this color does is it provides a lot of depth so it really makes that lid color stand out. And you also wanna kind of blend that butt color just a little bit above the crease, just so it really kind of fades out really nicely. I'm just gonna take the darker part um, right on the edge of my eye and really focus that dark part right in the corner and then kind of blend it inwards. Just remember when you are blending, don't go too high because you don't want to get that darker color close to your brow. Just focus that darkest part right in your socket and then lightly blend the excess up. So this is where you kind of want to stop, where you feel like you've got it really nice and blended. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that brush that I used earlier with the toasted color and I'm going to apply toasted again, but I'm going to apply it right under um, my lashes and just kind of smudge it out so it's that really nice soft smoky look. And now I'm just gonna use that same brush and just apply that lightest color that I showed you in the color Sin right in the inner corner of the eye. Guys, that was it for eyeshadow. So easy. Again, we just applied that toasted color right on the lid up to the crease took that blending brush with the color buck, which is that nice warm brown matte shade, took it through the crease in a windshield wiper motion, and then applied that light color sin in the inner corner of the eye. And there you go. Now we're just gonna add in eyeliner and mascara, and that will complete the look. I'm gonna use the eyeliner Teddy. I've talked about this 
numerous times already, but it's literally my favorite, especially if I'm doing kind of that natural brown smoky eye. It's really good because it smudges nicely and it stays on really well. So I'm just gonna actually apply it to my um, upper waterline and my lower waterline. And then I'm also gonna take it really softly on the upper lash line and just smudge it out. This line does not have to be neat at all because we're gonna take a brush and really smudge it out. Okay guys, so I'm taking a pencil brush just to kind of smudge that liner on the top and the bottom so it really blends nicely with the eyeshadow. All right, lastly, mascara. My holy grail is the one from Thrive Cosmetics. I think I've also talked about this like many, many times. So to really get the most benefit out of your mascara, all you gotta do is you go into the root with the brush, wiggle it in and pull up and then repeat. That really helps get every single eyelash coated. Okay guys, so here is the, actually, wait, I'm gonna add a little bit more lips. I always like to do um, a semi-nude lip with a smoky eye. Um, just so, if you're playing up your eyes, it's kind of the general rule of thumb is to kind of play down your lips. So, here we go. Final look. Super easy, it took me maybe five minutes total and you've got that really nice smoky natural eye that looks like you spent a lot more time on it and you didn't so i really hope you enjoyed this and let me know if you try it out i'd love to see a photo